Hello my planner lovelies and welcome back to another video. This video is going to be a new release video. However, before I start showing you my little goodies, I am going to talk about my shop, about my products, and also about the potential Canada Post strike and shipping and how it will affect your orders. So let's get into it. So we'll talk about my shop. Firstly, I've been doing these stickers or been on Etsy for almost six months and I am just so loving this journey, this new journey of selling stickers to you guys. By trade, I'm a graphic artist. I don't make stickers, but because of my Plan With Me videos from the beginning, a lot of you guys have been asking me where I've been getting these stickers, and I've decided to share my lovelies with you guys. But with this journey, I've learned so much in papers, in printing, in inks, like, oh my goodness. And you guys have been so helpful and giving me these amazing feedbacks or what you guys would like or what you guys would like to see in the future so thank you guys thank you so much for that and because of all your feedback I do listen and I have decided going forward with my new kits that I will be doing glossy instead of matte um, I did also buy a new industrial slash commercial printer and that because of that I've decided to go ahead and do glossy instead now with my mystery kits, I am going to give you guys two options so you guys could have it in the matte format which I have been doing since June or you have an option to upgrade to a glossy. But as I said, going forward, all my new kits, all my new releases will be all in glossy and the older kits will be in matte. And speaking about old kits, now I will have to retire a few old kits because I do have some new releases coming in. So the date of my retirement, not my retirement, but the date of the stickers that they'll be retiring will be September 4th, which is this Sunday. Um, the kids that I'll be retiring for this Sunday or going putting back into the vault um, is Country Spring, Sleeping Daisy, Sweet Honey Bee, Heart of Gold, Promise You, and Mermaid. And you're like thinking, oh my gosh, that's a lot of kids. Yes, that's up to, I think, six kids but I do need room for the new kits that are coming in for the fall and also Christmas. Oh my gosh, Christmas, Christmas, oh, it's coming up. Anyways, if you guys have those items in your carts and just waiting, do not wait, because I'll be retiring those kits this Sunday night at 11.59. They will no longer be available. Also, there will be some changes in the way I will be printing out my stickers. Before, I've been just printing it out crisp edges and have no bleed through it or any um, borders around it, I guess you could say. However, this time, because of the new printer and because of the paper, I do not want to waste any miscut paper because paper is very expensive when you turn into glossy, especially this professional glossy paper that I'm using because only the printer only takes the professional glossy paper. So because of that, I will have to change the way I print the stickers and I will show you later on in the video what I mean. Um, so please do not be surprised when you do get your sticker, it's not how you think it would be, but at the end, it works just the same. And last but not least, shipping, Canada Post shipping. As of today, Monday, they had held off 24 hours from from the strike, but the strike is only for working overtime. So their regular hours, they will still be working, but they will not be working overtime, meaning that there will be time delayed in your delivery. So if it usually takes me, or one week, takes you guys one week to get your orders, it might take a little bit longer because they will not be working overtime. They'll just be working regular hours. So your orders will be delayed. I don't know how, how much delayed, but it will get to you, but it will be delayed. So having that said, I am still going to continue shipping out your order, but your ETA will be a little bit longer than usual because of the negotiation and because of this potential strike that they might decide to do. Okay, enough of me talking shop. Let's get into it. Since I've done this Southern Charm Plan With Me weekly spread, a lot of you guys have been contacting me through Etsy of how you guys could get the Ombre Heart checkboxes and the 
half boxes, the bowl half boxes that I've used in this spread. So instead of me doing constant custom listing of the same thing over again, I'm gonna list it. I'm gonna list these two sheets as an extra um, that you guys could use and the color goes super well with that scrapbook with the Southern Charm scrapbook paper. So I will be listing these together so you cannot buy it separately you have to purchase it together because I have to print it together um, together as a set on my list and as you can see these are different title I've used script instead of um, your actual font font like block fonts so all my ombre heart check boxes will be different also going forward with scripts a lot of you guys also have been asking me about my labels or how that you guys could get a hold of these labels that I use just to block off the bottom or the headers. So I'm just going to list these also on my Etsy shop. Um, There's just going to be a few cents per sheet. This is the size of the sheet that you'll be getting. It's eight and a half by three to two inches, I believe. It will be in the description in the Etsy shop. So if you guys do want to get your hands on that, I'll list that too. So now with the new releases, I'm going just going to do some functional items first before I show you guys the kits as always. So here are my bowl half boxes and quarter boxes. There's been a huge demand for me just to make separate ones instead of them buying it through a kit because they do fit perfectly in the Erin Condren, in the Happy Planner, and also in um, so much crafting inserts or any other ins any other personal planners so this is great to have around just a little bit extra here I am trying to show you guys how well detailed printed high quality this is this is all printed on high glossy paper using my new commercial printer so you can see it's very well detailed very well high resolution so this one is also the light wood same thing same format but in a lighter wood like your white wood and the previous one was your dark wood and you have a generic color one rainbow one there I'm just going to zoom you guys in a bit more so you can see it. it's a bit better so the next item I'm pretty excited to show you guys I had so much fun selecting colors for this but they are my glitter headers yay same thing, everything going forward is going to be printed on my commercial printer on high, not high gloss, but just on glossy pa uh, sticker paper. As you can see, these are all headers. Every color block comes with seven headers. That's good enough for one spread. So this one is in soft gold color, and I do have many other colors to show you guys. And this one is in the autumn color. You have your browns, your coppers, and your gold. And we also have it in pastel, your rainbow pastel colors. I also decided to do a silver slash black. It's called Twinkle because you can actually use this for the Halloween, for for the Halloween, for Halloween, for the New Year's, and also for Christmas too. And lastly, I had to make a girly pink one. So this is glitter headers in pretty pink. Because I most of my spreads are obviously <laughs> pink or purple, so I had to make this. Oops, here I am trying to zoom in you guys to show you how well the print quality is. Like you can't even tell those are stickers. You, it's, it's it's just glitter. Okay, are you guys ready? Here comes the new kits. So this one is called Summer Stories. I figure that summer is ending and there'll be lots of stories and what great way is to end it with this Summer Story kit. It's a little bit um, brighter than the other few kits that I'll be showing because the other few kits is going forward through November. You can use it in October, November, or even December. So here I just lay down. It's called Pretty Lies. It's a lacy flower kit. Um, my motivation for this was actually for Halloween. I didn't want to do, you know, your witches, your goblins, like all the Halloween thing, but I thought, hmm, sexy Halloween. We could do that. So that's why I wears the lace. And now this one is called Stolen Kisses. And this kit was actually, I got motivated to do this kit from my first kits of the Pretty Lies. 
As you can tell, the colors are very, very much alike because that's where I got my inspiration from. But I felt that it needed a bit more pink and a bit more blush, so I added the blush into this kit. So this one's called Sto Stolen Kisses. As you can see in the first lace one the pretty lies it says stolen kisses pretty lies so that one's stolen kisses and lastly this is called midnight wishes so as you could tell the last three kits are a little bit darker because it's fall and i want it to be a little bit more darker than your bright summer colors because most of our, our spreads so far right now for the last few months have been pretty bright and i figured that we need to tone it down and use it for a darker spread here I just want to show you guys the print quality of this new commercial printer. Like, It's the best investment I have ever made into this because honestly I've been doing this for six months and I wasn't sure how the store was going and that's why I haven't really invested in a really good printer. But because you guys are just so amazing, I've decided to continue this journey and and just invest into my printer. So the print quality, as you can see, is very good, very high quality, high resolution, and same with the glossy sticker paper. So because of that, the way it's gonna print is gonna be a little bit different, as I will explain later. So this kit, I'm gonna show you this whole kit. It's called Summer Stories. I'm gonna show you the Happy Planner version. It does come in the Erin Condren version, but this video I just cut out happy planner version for you guys also all kits come with corresponding ombre heart check boxes and also a doo-doo sheet functional icon sheet which is listed separately so the next kit I'm going to show you is called pretty lies so as I said before my inspiration was actually sexy Halloween because I didn't I didn't want to do goblins or witches or ghosts or cobwebs and I figured, you know what, let's take a, a more adult approach. So this is my sexy Halloween kit called Pretty Lies. Because lies to me, you could tell so much lie and spins into a web. And what kind of looks like a web are laces. So that's where I got my lace inspiration too. So this is called Pretty Lies. The colors are definitely darker. It will work very well in October and November. Or even throughout the year too, if you like. Because I think this is so pretty. Um, my weekend banners are a little bit different. As you can see here, this one's a bit more cut out than your regular banners. But I, that's how I am. I like to be whimsical. I like to be creative that way. And I had so much fun creating this. Like, when I was creating this, my husband was watching me doing this. And he's like, oh, I really like this kit. And he rarely says that to me about my design. Because all my designs are all floral and stuff. But when he saw this, he's like... I really like this kit. I really like the color. So I'm pretty happy with this kit. The third kit I'm going to show you is a takeoff from my second kit, Pretty Lies. As you can see, this colors is very similar. However, I did brighten up the kit a bit and add a blush rose to it. And I just was, wor I guess I was working with the flowers and I'm like, oh my gosh, I love these flowers and glitter. And, and I just love doing this. So I just did the second kit as a, as not an add-on but just as a second take to it and it's not really technically ha Halloween theme as you can and my last kit is called Midnight Wishes I enjoyed working so much with this kit because of the glitter like I don't know if the camera does it justice but it has these gold glitter on every flower like, oh, I love this kit. It kind of remind me of a ballerina, but yes. So every kit does come with the ombre heart check boxes and also a doo-doo functional sheet. However, they are additional add-ons. So as I have mentioned before, that my printouts, when you do order from me and do receive your stickers, my printout will be different. So what I mean is that as you can see, the two sets, there's a set on your left-hand side and a set on your right-hand side. The right-hand side set is a bit more blurry. It's not blurry, but it's, it's called a bleeding effect. And because I'm using such an expensive quality paper, I do not want to do a lot of miscuts. And in order for me to do that, I have to bleed my image. 
So even though it sounds scary, it doesn't affect the image or the sticker itself. As you can see, it actually comes out pretty perfect without any white space or anything. Visually, when you do get my stickers, it does not look nice, but trust me, when you do use it on your planner, it looks so much better than having a miscut or slightly, slightly off cut type of stickers. Because this is all handmade, it's really hard to do perfect cuts on crisp image and I tried so many times of, of it and it was too hard. So this is the only way I could do it just so that I don't waste a lot of these expensive glossy paper. I'm just going to quickly talk about my ombre heart check boxes. So now the changes I have made are the check box itself, the hearts. Instead of doing it white as you can see on the right hand side, I've filled it in into the corresponding color but just a darker shade. I just felt it works better especially on the top part where everything was lighter and then you have a white box and you couldn't even see anything. So going forward all the ombre heart check boxes sheet that I've created will have a solid color check box instead. As I also mentioned that the text is actually going to be this font instead of a block font. All the new releases will go up live on Wednesday and the October mystery kit will go up live on September 1st. And there you go my lovelies. I hope you enjoy watching this new release video for this month. It's been so long in the making and I apologize for all the chit chat about the shop but as I said going forward I'll be using my new industrial slash commercial printer with gloss paper and with the mystery kit you do have an option of doing it matte or gloss. My last note about the mystery kits, the last two months mystery kit, I've been offering the happy planner, the large happy planner version for my mystery kit. However, going forward again, I will not be offering the large happy planner because there was not a huge demand for that. And because of that reason, I decided to discontinue it. So thank you guys. Sorry, this may have been a long chatty new release, but thank you guys for watching and I will see you in my next plan with me video. Happy planning. Bye.